Well, it's been a while since me and Lofty have been together. Tonight we're going to be shooting some rats. There's quite a lot, apparently, the farmer says. So this is why we've got two guns. And the guns that we're using tonight, Virac HW100 in 2.2 sub 12. Going to be using the Hitac on top, which I am really enjoying using. Lofty's going to be using his BSA Ultra SE 177 sub 12, and he's going to be using a Pard MV007. What we're going to do now is we're going to go load up our magazines, also, Lofty is going to be using 13 grain Zan slugs. That's going to be interesting in sub 12. So, that's what we're going to do now. Load up and we'll get on to it. It's been quite busy at this farm this year. I last visited about two months ago, and it looks as if they're starting to reproduce again. So, just before we get fully into winter, I need to get on top of them. So, that's what me and Lofty are going to do. And first up is going to be myself with the Virac and the Arkansas on top and using Air Arms Diablo field pellets in 16 grain. Perfect, that. Look zero then, is it? No, it just went exactly where I put it. Oh, up it is. And if I was aiming for that rock, which I was before, I hit the rock exactly where I wanted to shoot the rock. <laughs>
Well, I had a really good flurry of rats, but now I think it's time for Lofty to have a go. So he's loading up his magazine with some 13 grain Zan slugs, loading into his BAC Ultra SE 177, and Lofty's going to see if he can get a decent bag, just like I just did. Well it didn't take long for Lofty to get through 10 rounds in his magazine, which means it's time for a quick reload. But we can't hang around too much because there's plenty of rats which seems to be living in this wall. I'm using a Hick Thermal Monocular 15mm to locate all these rats and when you're using a thermal you cannot hide they light up like it's the 4th of July Is it like about this one? Kangaroo. Can you see where my torch is? Yeah. You see the pockets that led out. Tell me when you're on. Yeah, just whenever. Devastating these slugs.
That shot certainly made that rat jump out of its skin. They're all curled down now. Well, me and Lofty have certainly had a really successful night. So now what we got to do is go and collect as many rats as we can possibly find because it's always best that we don't leave a mess about the place and then the farmer can see exactly how many we've got. <laughs> in that clip off family guy where he's trying to put that toad out the window. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. So that's another evening done on the rats. Me and Lofty got quite a big bag each between us. Probably got more with the Virac, but it is what it is. Lofty was shooting for the first time Zan 13 grain slugs, which we didn't expect to ever work in something like his BSA Ultra. Um, it's quite a surprise how much hitting power they have, even in sub 12. So what do you think about them, the Zan Absolute, 13 grains? Absolutely devastating. <laughs> They're quite surprising, aren't they? Yeah, really good. Just, just never expected slugs to work in a sub-12, particularly in that thing. But we're going to end it on that. Really good night, and we got a really big bag of rats. Cheers for watching.